So we're waiting for the uh, for my uh, essay over at my essay. Hey yeah. Hey Santiago. All right. Hey. Yeah. So it is here. Um, it's just the top part of the of the key. So it's not the entire remote. Okay. So, but you guys have the remote, right? No, I think that's the only thing that they ordered. W weren't we just gonna switch it with the remote that you have now? Oh shit. No. How much was? I paid a lot for that key. How much was the key? Look at this key. Yeah, I paid for it, see? 263 bucks. That's it? I thought I paid like 400 and something for it, no? Man, that's an expensive piece of cut metal. <laughs> I don't have it here with me, but okay. it's just the top part, which is the key insert part. Oh, okay, so so we're gonna use my my cut part, the cut, the metal cut part that flips out. Um, I'm only showing that top piece here on this ticket, but I mean, it could be that he probably has the other set, so let me go talk to him. Cool. Um, all right, so yep. give me a few minutes and I'll call you back. All right, buddy, thank you. These keys are super expensive. I think the key itself is gonna end up being like 900 bucks um, for a brand new replacement key with a flip. The dealer has said, my mechanic at the dealer said that he has never seen this before, but it's happened to us twice. And if you know the Lamborghinis, um, when you put the key in, it's not a push to start on the Gyarados, you turn it over. Um, if you, have to, you have to unlock the steering wheel because the steering wheel locks. And everybody tries to like manhandle and just completely like overturn the key. This is what our key looks like right now. It's got um, that like two part epoxy that you get from uh, the hardware store. And I've found that that is like the only thing, like we've tried like regular glue epoxy but um, over time, this has been a month that we've been waiting for this key. Fortunately, this is our slow time of the year, so we're not having to uh, start this car because like during the summer months, you know, that car starts and stops over and over and over again all day long. So it would be a total pain in the ass to have a key that doesn't work. So we are heading to uh, the Lamborghini of Denver dealership to go get a new key for me. There's a cop. There's a cop. He's always there. Man, that guy's a clockwork. He's always there. Like, I don't think he ever moves. I think he just sits there and moves over all freaking day good spot. Yeah, he loves it. Uh, we had a customer that over torqued the key and broke it off and now we need to replace it because it's not good. We thought we'd go over and check out the dealership, see what they have in inventory and kind of check that out while we wait for the key to be made or key to be programmed. Jaguar, SVR, what do you guys think? Cool? Not cool? Okay. Should we get one? We have the uh, uh, AMG GTS, which is kind of same class. I don't think it's as hardcore as this car is, but uh, same class. It looks good. I like the black wheels and the white paint. That's pretty awesome. And the wing looks pretty cool. Very sporty. Oh, that's cool. What do you think of the interior on that? It's nice. Love the stitching. Yeah. I like the seats a lot. Yeah, you get a ton of dry carbon fiber, which always looks good on interiors. Um, nice leather, nice Alcantara. So if the, uh, what model is this? It's an F-Type SVR. It's like the hardcore Race version of it. This is like their track version, I guess? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then he's telling me it was 575 horsepower. I don't know much about this car. That's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty sick, though. Yeah. I don't know, still still some of the stuff like this stuff looks kind of cheap. Um, yeah, whenever like you get like piano cheap. black, it looks sort yeah. of cheap, but at, at least they kind of replace most of that in here with the dry carbon. Dry carbon, yeah. She's the 
He's looking for a auto parts store for me. We need some power steering fluid. Um, yeah, we the wine that we were hearing uh, definitely power steering reservoir had is low and uh, needs a little bit of fluid. It's cold out, which is understandable. So I like got a little pit stop right here. We got a quart of oil low. Maybe two, but we'll see if the one, one one's gonna get us to get that thing to stop beeping. Look at that. No drip. I love putting oil in cars like that. Just the look of the oil. It just looks cool. It's cool. And this is a ATF fluid, so we kinda have to be um, cognizant of how much we put in. So I don't think we need all of it, but Is that kind of satisfying, just seeing it go up and down like that? Watching it. Yeah. All right, so what have we done today? We've gone Went to, to the, the dealership. dealership. Got a new key, new $800 key. Got a new all car. The program. Didn't get a new car. I wanted to get a new <laughs> car. We wanted a new car. But didn't get a new car. Uh, saw some really cool cars, right? Yes. Some sweet, sick cars. They are definitely uh, up in their game over at Jaguar, so we Jaguar. And then we found out that the power uh, steering fluid was low in this car and uh, was making a whine, so we had to get some new power, or add some power steering fluid. It only took like a half a cup. I'm surprised that. I didn't expect that you could get Lamborghini power steering fluid at O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's? <laughs> well, here's what, here's what happened is I told uh, my service advisor to put the power, put some sur uh, power for the steering fluid on my ticket, like I'll just buy some. Uh -huh. And he's like, don't, Eric, don't, don't worry about that, don't. Like, just go to O'Reilly's. Go to O'Reilly's. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. it's just ATF fluid on that car, so. Oh, well, so that's good. cool, right? I mean, he didn't, he could have, like, hosed me and gave, given me, like, you know, the $48 power steering fluid. Yeah. What a good that guy. I didn't need, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so we went over to O'Reilly's and got that hooked up, got my one quart low, uh, message away, so this car does not need to go into service. So, did you ever do that with your dog? Like, yeah. have to pull over on the side of the road? Well, just let no, him no. Go crazy and run? I've gotten one one too many off leash tickets. To do oh, really? Yeah. So, when I had my German short haired point, short haired point pointer, he was um, so crazy that I used to do that all the time. Like, I just didn't stop because he's just going so nuts. Just let him and run? Let him run to wow. get out of the system. For like 20 minutes, okay. and he just run around like a like a spaz, like a maniac. That but, sounds like too much to handle. No, it's way too much to handle. That's why I have an English bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a it's like a 10 to 1 ratio of <laughs> sleep to, to activity. We're going to go get some pizza. Look at that raptor. Oh yeah. Hey, we just raptor. saw a raptor. Oh, we just saw a brand new raptor. <laughs> Look at that. It's a good trip. Um, uh, what's this pizza place we're going so to? So we're going to Proto's Pizza, and I'm buying. So, cool. Yay for you guys. Yeah. All right, so we uh, just finished lunch. We got pizza and a show. And a show. A show, you ask. <laughs> what could that be? <laughs> At Proto's Pizza. So, Proto's is like a, just a small local. I think they're, they have like three locations. They do Neapolitan style pizza, which I like. It's my favorite. We had a Goomba, a Goomba pizza with uh, prosciutto and Kalamata olives, which we added. Capers. Uh, capers and uh, cheese and red sauce. It was just delicious, right? It was good. So uh, we got that, and that was pretty awesome. We got that panini thing. That's oh, that thing was amazing. Like nothing but it was flour, like a, water, and a savory soba pia. <laughs> it was. It was so good, right? Oh yeah. And then we got the show, right? And then we got the show. So there was this girl at the bar that was there. I don't know if she lived in the area or she was just lived walking in home. the pizza place. I mean, it was what? <laughs> she was there the whole time. It was at one o'clock, dude. Yeah, noon. noon. Yeah, she was doing a walk of shame. She was uh, a mess. This is a late afternoon walk of shame. Yeah. She was a mess though, right? Yeah, she looked... Well, uh, first off, the, the tip off of the walk of shame, other than, yeah, I mean, you could just say that she rolled out of bed and wanted to get some pizza. Yeah. But she complained about how 
if, or asked if they had anything else other than pizza on the menu. Yeah. And what? <laughs> it's called Frota Pizza. And it, the menu is pretty simple. It's a bunch of pizzas and salads, right? Yes. And the lady looked at her like she was retarded. <laughs> and she's like, no, we just got pizza just and salads. Pizza. And she's like, well, I'm kind of a pizza snob. Like, who says that? I mean, it's so rude. I don't know. So she, she was like, not all there. And then uh, she, her, she, oh, she got a phone call. Yeah. And the phone call, the first question was, who is this? Oh, did we uh, hang out, hang out <laughs> last night? No, she, she was black, she blacked out last night. She had That's way too many shots last night. She doesn't she, even know who she was with? I don't know if she knew who she was last <laughs> night, let alone who she was with. But apparently, after that call, she was a texting machine. Yes. Right? Well, she, she, she found out who she was with. Oh, and she was like, I gotta send him oh, some news. Oh, oh, I gotta send him some news. <laughs> That's what she was doing. Yeah. So I had like the perfect like beeline. She was up in a, on a counter bar stool, and we were sitting on a four top. And like just the, the angle that I was sitting was like right over the shoulder in the texting zone. Right? Yeah, so you could see it all. I could see it all. And we were maybe like 10 feet apart. And then Alex had a pretty good view too, because he kept looking over my shoulder. And she was saying full on titty shots. Titty shots and. And feet shots. And feet shots. <laughs> Which I, go hand in hand. I know that's a thing, <laughs> and I know that that's, that's some guy's it thing. Is. And you know, more power to you. If you <laughs> more feet to more you. More power to you if, you, if you're into uh, feet or armpits or whatever your fetish is, but she had like a whole arsenal of, of photos. I mean, that, she's just got a private folder on her phone. Yeah, but do, I mean, is that like a thing? I mean, cause I don't have a you private, have like, a, nude a folder, folder full of nudes? I don't have one, I don't have one nude on my phone. Like, I not think, one. I think mean, that's like, that's like the, the best practice in life. Don't carry nudes on your phone. Yeah, but if you keep them password protected, it's fine. I mean, who? Seriously. <laughs> I think it's a thing goes that, to that, that single girls do. Because I've that, had my folder of nudes <laughs> in my time. So is it like, a, is it like a, I just need to have it just in case? Just in case you need to send it. I've never seen anyone sexed in public, like having lunch, eating their pizza, and like <laughs> you know, sending, sending titty shots at the same time. And going, oh yeah, that's the, that's the titty shot I want to send this guy. And like float on there like, no, nope, that titty shot doesn't work. No, Wait, so did it's you all see your multiple? same tits. They, huh? You saw multiple titty shots? Oh yeah, she was. Oh, in, wow. She was like going. She was like thumbing through all of her titty shots. I mean, she had like an archive of like all of the different like you know. She had like the Christmas photos, the Halloween photos. I mean, I think she, I think she had them like probably categorized. Oh in, my like, god. Folders. She had a big arsenal of new photos of herself, and I know they were of herself because she put her photo. That's the other thing. Like, I thought when you do. Nudes, you don't put your face in it. Like that's the whole thing. Is like keep it. Well, like, you know, she's an interesting girl. She, she was bizarre. She doesn't seem like she cares about she that. She did. No, not one bit. She didn't care one bit. But it was bizarre. Yeah. That you'd be sitting there at the bar at Proto's Pizza. Yeah, she. You know. Just if I'm ever doing, if I'm any ever doing anything like not safe for work on my phone. Yeah, I'm aren't like, you gonna be like hanging hovering, it? <laughs> aren't you gonna be hovering cool. down like like covering it up and like <laughs> sending it real fast? Yeah. And then picky. deleting it immediately. <laughs> oh my god. I had a nude of an ex-boyfriend and my mom was looking Ooh. through the pictures on my phone because she was looking at something and I just forgot that picture existed. And of course she's like, oh, I'm just going to keep scrolling. And she, <laughs> did you forget that it was on there? Oh yeah, I did. Oh and my god. Uh, she saw full frontal. How <laughs> petrified. Oh, it was awful. How, so did she, did, okay, so did she like stop and stare? No, or? I like snagged it away from her, but she still saw it. She knew what it was. <laughs> she knew. She knew what it was. Was she like, oh, uh, what? was it like awkward then? Oh, then? what's that? Um, the, they're, they're pretty open about that. Oh, so yeah, it right. was more just laughing about it. <laughs> so she, did she goof on you and like give you a hard time? Yeah, yeah, of course. My whole family awesome. did. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was so embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Well, so we're heading gonna, back. We're going to get some cool drone footage. Yeah, you gotta do some editing and get this thing done. Yeah. And get this thing out. We had a fun day. We did. Now we gotta go work and sell some packages. Call sure. some people back. Yep. Do our do our job so we can 
keep the lights on? Yes. Cool. All right. All right. Bye, you two. Bye-bye.